Hi guys, so let's talk about design Twitter. So you have to design a simplified version of Twitter where user can post tweet, follow, unfollow another users. And, and it's able to see the 10 most recent tweets in the user new feed. So there are some uh, function you need to write inside the Twitter class. So there's a constructor and post tweet, get news feed and follow, unfollow method. So you have to read through it and when you when you read through it and you have to brainstorm what you actually need to do for this question and this is pretty standard OOP uh, problem you need to create a class inside the Twitter class so uh, I already wrote two classes one class is called tweet so tweet has its ID and time and also the next tweet so what it actually meant is ID is going to be tweet ID time it will be when does it tweet right it has to be unique the the tweet has to be unique right and also uh, tweet next tweet next is actually how you link to um, this user like how many tweet for this user right and you can actually connect the tweet inside the user class so uh, you can see there's a tweet inside the user class and for the tweet constructor you have the id and time you just have to initialize and then set the uh, next the tweet next equal to no and i have the function called get id i just return id and let's talk about another helper um, class which is class class user so class user has set of follower set integer follow and uh, int id and tweet head uh, tweet head and these are these are the variable inside the class user. So what are I mean? What is the follow for the set in uh, set integer? So for each user, you can follow uh, you can follow as many as you want, right? So this i this integer will, will will store the user ID, and this user will just follow will will store the user ID inside the set. So which means you can actually know how many. Um, how many users you follow or how many people you follow right and based on this follow because you cannot follow twice right so this has to be unique the the user id and also the int id id is your user id right so this is also unique how about tweet head so since tweet is the uh it is technically a linkless right and you can use the tweet head and you can um you uh you can also use the next inside the tweet so you can actually know which one is your head of the tweet which one is the recent the most recent one in your uh i mean in in the tweet for this user so in the user constructor i have in id i'm initialize this id to the id i'm going to initialize the hash set set will be the hash set it's not going to be tree set it's going to be it's going to be hash set and tweet head i initialize to no and since you cannot follow yourself, right? I'm going to add. I'm going to add yourself into the follow. So this will avoid like if you want to follow a person which is yourself. So I'm just technically I'm just I'm going to add. I'm I'm going to add a follow. Uh, I'm going to add a user ID into the follow. And the next function, the next method is get tweet head. I just return uh return tweet uh tweet head. And get follow. I just return follow. And for the follower, for the follow, I can actually just add the ID inside the uh, set integer, right? And for the unfollow, right? Uh, I set a con condition, which means is for this user, ID cannot be the ID you for the, for the, for the, for the ID you give, right? This should not be allowed, right? And if if the ID is not equal to the user ID, right? You can remove it. This is how the unfollow works and for the post right you want to post a tweet inside this user and i have a tweet here right so technically is i create a tweet i get a post time and a time timestamp so post id and timestamp so how do i get a timestamp i have the variable inside the twitter class and twitter class i have timestamp i'm going to be I i'm going to set the timestamp you unique so for each tweet is unique and the, ha uh, and the user map is uh, another variable inside the Twitter uh, class I'm not going to talk about this 
uh, first. So uh, when I add a tweet, right, I can increment a, a timestamp. So the next tweet will be unique, right? The next tweet time will be unique. And I'm, I'm going to reset the, uh, the head, the tweet head to the new, to a new tweet. So new tweet dot next equal to uh, tweet head and then to, to, uh, tweet head equal to new tweet. So this is how you in re initial reinitialize your tweet head. So they will jump to, uh, let's jump to the Twitter class. So I have two class, one, uh, two variables, sorry. Two variable timestamp and you and a user map and for the user map key is the user ID value is user and I will have I will have well, I will have to uh, initially declare like user map is equal to new hash map and timestamp is equal to zero and I'm going to write a first function for the post tweet so what do you actually need to do for the post tweet? If the, you are given a user and a tweet ID, tweet ID, right? If the user ID is not found in the user map, you should add, you should add, right? Like for, for example, Twitter, and then you post tweet already. So there's a user you didn't add into the user map. So I'm going to say, uh, if user map dot contains key user ID. So I have to make it opposite in the negative one. So I'm going to say, if I didn't find a user ID inside the user map, I need to create a user, new user. I'm going to uh, give user ID for user. So user ID only take one, one variable, which is ID. And I need to put into my, put into my user map. So user map is integer and a user, right? Integer and user. So uh, that would be user ID user so this is not uh, because you need to uh post a tweet and we have the post post method inside the user class so you need to get the user get user id dot post and what do you actually need to post the post id right which is tweet id and that will be the solution for the post tweet so i'm not going to uh do this for the next one. This is the hardest one. I'm going to do the unfollow first. So how do you do the unfollow? If you can find a user inside a user map, you can unfollow. If you cannot find a user inside a user map, you don't need to worry about it, right? So this is the trick. So if user map that contains key follow ID, if you can find it inside the user map, you can unfollow. So how do you unfollow? How do you unfollow? You can actually uh, find the method inside the user class. It's called unfollow. So let's just work on it. User map. I get unfollow ID dot unfollow. Which one you want to unfollow? This guy, right? So this will be the solution for unfollow method. And for the follow, it, that would be exactly uh, the same, but uh, that will be a little bit tricky because what happens if you uh, follow a person which is not inside your inside the inside your user map? You need to add right. So if you cannot find the um, user inside your user map, follow follow ID and follow e ID, right? That would be the base case. I think I spelled it correct, right? So if I want to follow, right? Which means there are two, there are two, uh, two user inside my uh, database for sure. But my user map did not update, right? If I didn't find it, then I need to create a user for this follow ID. Then I need to add, I I I need to add into my uh, user map, right? So put, and then that will be the follow ID and the user and also the follow ID follow ID is user that would be exactly the same stuff and user map that put follow ID comma user all right so if you want to follow someone right and there's a method called follow inside the user class so I can use this method so here's it user map 
dot get follow id dot follow follow eid that would be the solution for the follow method i hope i didn't make the typo mistake but whatever let, let's just keep going and let's move on to the next one get news feed so you have to know you have to retreat the the 10 the 10 most frequent uh, the 10 most recent sorry uh inside the uh, inside the user feed so what you actually need to do is um you need to create a list of integer right i'm gonna call it list i'm gonna uh give it to link list okay so if i cannot find this user in my user map i can just return this right user map dot contains key if i didn't find this user I just return empty this okay so what if you can find it what if you can find it right you can find it uh for this user uh this user could follow many many user right which is set integer follow and i do have the get follow method right so i'm gonna copy it and i'm gonna paste it right here but this is the um, method inside the user class right so i need to do that is set integer and i'm gonna call user the user you follow right is equal to user map that get that user id wait where's my mouse user id dot get follow right all right let me explain again i need to get my user user class and then this is my method inside my user class and that would be uh the user you follow and i need to have a priority queue so why do i have the priority queue priority queue is actually going to give you the 10 most recent right so why do i have to use a priority queue because the timestamp timestamp whenever you post the timestamp increase and i can actually just uh reorder like uh, i can actually uh, reorder the priority queue from from biggest to smallest so priority queue and this will be a tweet i'm going to call pq and then priority queue and that would be uh, like this right and i need to initialize uh, uh, my my order inside the priority queue right so the size of the priority queue will be user.size and also the lambda lambda expression that will be uh, b dot time minus a dot time so why do we have to use time because time is the ash time sorry time that would uh that would be that would be the time timestamp and timestamp for each timestamp you will uh, assign a timestamp for this tweet and for each tweet uh when you post it right you need to increment so the biggest one will will uh will technically mean the most uh recent one right and that would be the priority queue method so i need to traverse right so user in sorry in users so for each user it could have uh, it could have tweet right so i'm gonna get i'm gonna say tweet i'm gonna say tweet t equal to do user map dot get and then user that would be a user id right but in the user class in the user class we have a method called get tweet head right so that would uh, I'm gonna copy get tweet head. So I will be I will actually know my head of the tweet. So if t equal to no, I I'm just continue. I'm not worried about it. But if t is not equal to no, I'm gonna add into my I'm gonna add into my priority queue. So you don't have to worry about how many tweet inside your uh, inside this user. You just add the head of the tweet in the priority queue, and we will check about um uh the pq that is empty it will check about the priority queue is priority empty or not if if not empty then we will uh sorry so i have an if statement i'm going to talk about it later but i'm going to pop i'm going to say t equal to pq dot poll so i'm going to pull a tweet from my priority queue i'm going to add i'm add, add a tweet that get id why because this integer it, this integer is a list integer right and each tweet is not the integer i need to get id which is my get id method and 
what happens if you have next tweet for this tweet head? I adding every tweet head inside the priority queue. But you could have the you could have the next tweet, the next tweet inside the tweet, right? Then you could have you could you could say t if t dot next is not null, then pq dot add, and then just say t dot next. <coughs> so that would be the solution. But I'm not done because I need to say retrieve the ten most recent tweet ID, right? So what if if list dot size is, is equal to ten? I can just break, right? If 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 you say the retrieve the twenty, then you just say twenty. But it could be uh, I mean you can actually create a variable called max tweet uh, inside your class, but I don't care because this is uh, one one way of doing it. Then at the end, I just return this for this function, and they just run the code and see what happens. Okay. Uh, I spell it wrong, right? I spell it wrong. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that will be the solution, and I'm going to talk about the time and space complexity. So, for the for the total time, total for the total time time space time and space complexity, um, it, it actually depends why. Because for each for each method, it does handle it differently. So I'm going to talk about the total space, total space complexity. So the total space complexity will be all of them. So it doesn't matter like which one, uh, uh, which method. The all of the function that that needs is all of them space. And for each tweet, uh, Twitter class, I'm going to talk about this. So for this. For this method, post tweet, right? The time complexity for this one, time, time complexity for this one is all of one. Why? Because you contain, there will be all of, all of one, right? You put all of one, right? You get all of one, right? You post again, it's all of one, right? So that will be the uh, time complexity for the post tweet. So next, let's move on the next one. Uh, Get new tweet. Uh, get new fit. So the time complexity is think about it. It should be n log n, right? Why? You, you because you you re reinitialize the priority queue, even though you didn't reinitialize, it's still n log n because you use priority queue. They do have to compare. And the last one for the follow. Follow is all one because content put content put. Get follow all of one right, so this will be the exactly the same thing for unfollow content. Get unfollow. This is all of one for the entire, entire method. So this is different. It's unlock n. Others are all of one right, and for the total space complexity is all of n, and that will be the solution. And if you feel it's helpful, then you can leave a comment. You can press a like. You can you can sub subscribe if you want it. And this question is really standard for all OP. And I will talk about the next one later uh, if I can find a similar question. So, uh, peace out.